in forecasting, the record to beat is also 98. So I think we could tie. We are running well above the average once this cold front moves in. That'll drop our afternoon high Thursday to 93 degrees. I don't think we'll break any records. The record to beat 100. There's our satellite view with chills. We are waking up to clear skies, but our relative humidity shows where most of the moisture is. Guadalupe Pass, 63%. Further west you go around dimming, 19%. So very dry, very dry in TRC. El Paso and Las Cruces, relative humidity is also around 12% at this time. So here's our latest future track computer model. We'll remain dry. El Paso, Las Cruces at 1 o'clock. You'll notice the clouds will begin to build, and then we'll start to see those thunderstorms really intensify north of Fort Davis around Balmore. The further east you go, that's where we will see severe storms. North of Van Horn, south of Guadalupe Pass, there's a thunderstorm that could generate some gusty winds. But our future track, the latest run, shows drier conditions through at least 11 o'clock on Thursday. And our rainfall model also giving us an idea of which locations will see most of the rain. And it is far east. I don't think we'll see any rain around El Paso County and Doñana County will also remain dry. So from parts of Texas like Midland, Lubbock, this extends to the Texas Panhandle, even Oklahoma, where we will see those severe storms. And most of the rain will remain just east of us on Thursday. But here comes the cold front that I mentioned will be cooling us down to the low 90s for the rest of the week but it's still gonna be hot. Gust around 35 miles per hour is what you can expect for today with some occasional gust and breezy to windy conditions once the weekend rolls around. We could see some blowing dust and sand this afternoon as well. 99 will be the high today, Fort Bliss, 98 Horizon City, mild overnight lows and it's still going to be windy. There is your seven day forecast. We'll still be tracking breezy conditions as I mentioned through the weekend, but it's gonna get hot this weekend as well. 100 degrees, I think we could see our first triple digit day or come close. Monday and Tuesday, we're still in the upper 90s. Andrea,